Your future is created by what you do today, not tomorrow. Hi, I'm Carlin. And I'm Mitch. And welcome to Wednesday of our Healthy Blog Lifestyle. It's February 9th. Time is flying in our one-year vlogging adventure, and things are changing already. We've got some exciting things coming up. We have book club on Friday, and it will be on our YouTube channel this Saturday. We have read The Lost Apothecary by Sarah Penner, and I'm in it. It is a good book. I like how she tells it. She's going from past pr to present, two different storylines. I've been listening to the audiobook version of it, and I'm about halfway through, and it's super engaging. Like, I, the mystery. I, yeah, I, the... I want to finish it, and there's so you... not many books like that where it's a one or two day listen or read for me anyways. You have time still to get that book in before Saturday and join us for that book club. And see, would you answer the questions the same way that we do? This past Sunday, we had another really great weekend out at the ski hill. And so again, we were able to capture a few clips of our adventure. Check them out right here. Well, it's been an amazing day. Nobody's gotten hurt too bad yet. It's the last run of the day for Benson and I. Car and Evie. Evie wanted to do a couple runs on the Bunny Hill before we left. So that's what they're doing, but now they're back at the truck waiting for us. Benson's way up ahead, I better get going. Our girl here decided she wanted to learn how to do jumps. So I'm thinking back to my youth and holy moly, let's go Evie. Gave her a few tips and she just nailed one a second ago. Nailed it! Good stuff, girl. We're just leaving the hill. It was another amazing day. We skied even more than we did the first time with more confidence and our kids showed improvements. It was a great day and again the weather cooperated. So good and even you know at the beginning of the skiing Mitch's uh, bindings broke on both of his bindings on his snowboard. And so he was stranded, locked into his snowboard. And this is how lucky we are. He was stranded in a snowboard and one of the workers walked by and he was like, hey, could you help me out? My bindings broke. He couldn't get his feet out of his snowboard. And the guy was like, oh yeah, yeah, I know what to do. He went and got a tool and then he replaced the bindings, not the whole bindings, just the, the, clip. the clip that lets your foot in and out. And Mitch was like, okay, thank you so much. How much do I owe you? And he's like, ah, don't worry about it. Took him maybe a minute to fix. Amazing, how lucky are we? Then when we were going up the chairlift the first time, uh, our son's ski popped off. His first time going up the quad chair without the instructor, like just with us, it popped off. So no big deal. The guy just passed the ski to the guy behind us and then Mitch and Benson uh, fandangled getting off the, the quad chair and no big deal. So there was our one, two, three challenges. And then the rest of the day was amazing. And how grateful we are for people that helped out and went above and beyond. People are so good. It was a great day. Our day of skiing didn't start without some problems. Hmm. 
But then you know what? Sometimes those problems are there for a reason. Sometimes it's the right place at the right time. And your problems actually help you more in the big picture. But you don't know that until after. So now this guy, um, like this is 45 minutes away, 50 minutes away from where we live. And I, I'm seeing this guy and I'm like, he looks familiar. I'm sure I know who that guy is. I think I taught him in elementary school. So anyways, Mitch tells me his name after the fact. And I was like, oh my goodness, this was a former student of mine, like 15 years ago, 14 years ago-ish. Incredible. So yeah, he fixed my snowboard, replaced parts on each of my bindings so that I could get back on the slope. Didn't charge me for it. Isn't that awesome? Like any other time, any other place, any other person, he would have been strapped in that snowboard, have to take his boots off. And it was the right place at the right time to have a problem because there goes one of my former elementary school, <laughs> school students who's now a grown adult. And he just helped him out. Yeah. And then it was free. It was just this tiny little plastic clip and he replaced it, no big deal. And we enjoyed the rest of our day. Also on our, our first, uh run up the quad chair after doing a few runs up the bunny hill we were getting loaded on the chair and first run of the day our our son lost one of his skis as we sat on the chair lift but again people helping out good people just helping out yeah. the guy behind us picked it up brought it up to the top of the yep. hill for us and then we skied down and we had no more no issues. issues the rest of the day it was phenomenal right people right place and just people trying to help out and are helping out and making a difference in our enjoyment of the day thank you thank you for being good people well and we were pre prepared to to go and rent a new snowboard for me just so that we could have a yeah. good day but you know the fact that we were able to save 50 dollars and not have mm -hmm. to rent a, more equipment yeah that's huge yeah. That was and awesome. i mean my snowboard I bought that thing probably in 2001 and so it's a grandpa like, snowboard yeah it's it's had a good life so and it's things still are good. bound to break yeah it still works fine yeah. it's just you know plastic breaks so i was pretty sore after our skiing trip on sunday so i didn't get much done on monday or tuesday well but he did go to work whereas I, true, I did i had to stay home so sunday was great Woke up Monday morning and my son had a cold, stuffy nose, sore throat. So we've been rapid testing him so far. It's negative, but we'll rapid test again today. His symptoms are persisting. So I actually just did a rapid test too, but uh, I've got a lot of exercise in Monday, Tuesday. Today's only Wednesday, so I guess uh, haven't exercised much yet today. But well, you spent almost an hour on the elliptical yesterday. Right, I so. did 50 minutes. Check out this clip right here. I just did 50 minutes on the elliptical watching a movie. That was the way to do it. It's the farthest I've gone on the elliptical yet. I feel strong. I feel healthy. Gains. It's funny how you mentioned how you were so sore after skiing. I really wasn't. Or I guess he snowboards. He had a few crashes. Yeah. <laughs> he was going pretty hard. I I go like an old granny. I'm like anything I can do not to fall. So I wasn't too bad on Monday. But when we got home from skiing on Sunday, we did another yoga practice. And it had lots of hip openers. And yeah, I find it if felt I... felt amazing. It felt amazing. And I find if I stretch after yoga... Or after, I mean... After skiing? If I do yoga after skiing, that's what I meant. I feel great. It's always good to stretch after yoga, though. <laughs> oh, thanks. Ba -dum -boom. <laughs> I also was able to get a yoga practice in outside under the sun. It was just a beautiful day. I had a really enjoyable time doing my yoga on the deck. Mm -hmm. So if anyone knows what February in Saskatchewan is usually like, her doing yoga on the deck is pretty remarkable but we also live in an area the only part of our province that is normally warmer than everywhere else mm -hmm. but and still not normally not warm enough in february to right do a yoga session out on the deck right 
unless you're bundled up in all your ski gear. So if you don't know who we are, and you, this is your first time watching our vlog, we're on a one year health journey, season seven from January 1st, December 31st. We're getting in shape. We're continuing to be in shape, getting in better shape, being nutritious and just living a healthy lifestyle. And we would love for you to come along on our journey by liking this video and subscribing to our channel. Make sure to ring that notification bell so that you know every time we're releasing a new vlog, which is right now twice a week, but it changes sometimes. So on that note, take care, brush your hair, and we'll see you on Saturday for book club. Oh, oh yeah. yeah.